Hey there everybody, how you doing? It's your boy George, AKA Agent 86, and today I'm gonna to be installing a SATA hard drive as well as some RAM in the Azul's Inspire. You can go ahead and pick it up on their website. It's available in the i3, the i5, or the i7 processor. Today I'm gonna to be installing this 120 gigabyte SATA drive as well as a eight gigabyte RAM. The Inspire will support up to 32 gigs. This one is a dual core Intel Cabby Lake i3. Again, it will support up to 32 gigs of RAM. This is a bare bones system, so you're gonna go ahead and have to install your own OS. It does support M2 and SATA. Built to create, built to inspire, very nice model and a very nice device. We're gonna go ahead and recommend this one. All right, so I've already broke the seal on this one. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. All right, inside we have this nice little card here. We're gonna go ahead and give them a uh, thumbs up because hey, they're pretty awesome. Also, if you're in need of a VPN, you can go ahead and use their referral code, Zultech.com slash VPN for 73% off on this VPN. There's a very nice user manual, pretty thick, a lot of information in there. Take this cover off. Inside we have the unit itself as well as this box that has the power and the remote. Here's a power adapter, pretty nice looking remote control. Here's the uh, antennas that are going on the back as well as the SATA port and the power for your hard drive. Here's a look at the front of the unit. We can see a micro SD card slot as well as one of the three USB 3.0 ports, an audio jack, and a USB C type. Flipping the unit around, we see two slots for the antennas, which we could screw in later. We see a 4K display port. We see a serial port, an ethernet port, as well as HDMI, and two more USB 3.0s. Uh, also, very important, a Kensington lock. So if you're gonna be having this thing outside where people can get to it, make sure no one's gonna steal it. Now there are four screws on the bottom plate that we're gonna to need to take off. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend a good cordless drill like this DeWalt or a regular small screwdriver will do. Checking out the bottom plate, I see that there's a plastic shield here, which I'm gonna ask you to be careful. Don't pry it off like this. Go ahead and flip it on its side and down here there's a little groove. You should be able to stick a little pry bar in there and separate it. I'm gonna back this shot up and try to get a closer shot so that you can go ahead and check out what I'm talking about. There it is right there, just a little separation and that sucker should pull right off. You can set that bottom plate off to the side. We're gonna need that in just a bit. All right, now that we got this thing open, we're gonna go ahead and also open up our 120 gigabyte SATA as well as our eight gigs of RAM. Taking a look at the board, you're gonna notice that there's two slots for RAM as well as these little metal clips that are gonna hold the RAM in place. We're gonna wanna install the RAM in the bottom. If you're not installing two chips, make sure that you put the RAM in the bottom, not the top. Simply grab your RAM, you're gonna put it in this bottom one and uh, we're gonna use these clips to go ahead and secure it. So. If you look at the RAM, you're gonna notice that one side is bigger than the other. You can match it up to the hole there, stick it in. You're gonna see it sticking up like that. If you got it in there right, it should stick up at an angle. Then you're just gonna go ahead and press down until you hear a click. And that's it. Try and be careful not to snap the RAM or damage the ports when installing this. Here we see the M2 slot that is also compatible with PCIe. Today we're gonna to be concentrating on this port where we're gonna connect this hard drive 
with the SATA cable. Now, very important, don't put the hard drive in here backwards. Otherwise, the screws that are in this bag aren't gonna fit in the holes properly. So take it, make sure that it's in there correctly and that the ports are facing out. Next step is to take the little screws that were in the bag and secure the hard drive to the bottom case. I'm gonna flip this case around to make it a little easier. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this cordless drill because it has a magnetic tip. And uh, well, let's make life easy. Secure the last two screws. There we go. Next is these cables. One of them is for info and the other is for power. This is the SATA for the info. This little white input is for the power. So let's plug the power in here. Next, we'll put the SATA cable in. Next step will be to connect the hard drive to the PC. We have two slots here and you're gonna notice that there's a little groove. So make sure that you line that up. Put the big one with the big one, the little one with the little one. Once everything's connected, make sure that you snug everything down. And next step will be to screw everything right back in place where we found it. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a separate video if you guys request for how to go ahead and load the OS on this thing. Definitely hope that you like this video and that it helped. If you have any more questions about this unit, go ahead and comment below. This one's already sold, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the box right where I found it and get ready to ship this off to another satisfied customer. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if we helped you out. We definitely appreciate you watching, and as always, have a great day.